Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co, and this is going to be my solo playthrough of Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Now, timestamps down below in case you want to jump straight towards me starting, but a little bit of background towards this game. I love Terraforming Mars, my number one game of all time. I have done a review. One of my review formats is going to be something called Play This, Not That, where I compare two games, and I compared Ares Expedition to Terraforming Mars and found it... I, I found it didn't give me the Terraforming Mars experience I wanted. I was disappointed by this game. I thought if you cross ways for the galaxy, a game I love, with Terraforming Mars, a game I love, I would enjoy the resulting game. And I do enjoy the resulting game, but it was such a far removal from how much I enjoy Terraforming Mars that I actually decided this game is going to leave my collection and put that in a different video. And then I had an idea. Because you see, I find Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition is a large gap from the original Terraforming Mars in three specific ways, three specific aspects in which it does not give me the full Terraforming Mars experience, and so I am currently on a bit of a journey, as it were, to try to figure out whether I do or do not want to keep this game, whether it has a place in my collection. Those three ways are going to be, I find the lack of area control to be a giant jump downwards from Terraforming Mars, I find that the lack of drafting, which is a option in Terraforming Mars, but the only way I play Terraforming Mars, I find the lack of drafting takes away from the experience as well, and then finally I find the choice of having to not choose which cards to keep or not is a huge degree of tension. The desire to keep every card, in all Terraforming Mars, you could have to pay three money for every card, but then uh, when you can sell it later for money apiece. In Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition, every card is worth three money, but you can keep them all and sell them as and when you want to, which takes a lot of the tension out of the choices you're making. And to that end, I find that the area, the one I, I care least about is area control. I like it, but I find that Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition does give you a shorter experience, and so I will take that trade-off. That's fine. Uh, the solo play, the reason I'm playing it solo right now, is I enjoy Terraforming Mars solo, and solo is a way that you don't actually draft in regular Terraforming Mars, and I still love it, even without the drafting in solo play. And I am going to be house ruling one of the mechanics of Terraforming Mars. What I'm going to be house ruling in this game is that the in Terraforming Mars Expedition, you cards are worth three money, you don't pay three money to keep them. So I have to keep that balance in play. But the way I'm house ruling it, in order to try to see if I can add more attention to this game to make it more like Terraforming Mars, which is the game I prefer, I'm going to be doing that, the rule I'm going to be having is that you, whenever you get a card, including your starting cards, if you want to get money for it, you can sell it for one money at any time, or you can sell it for three money when you first get it. In other words, you have to make that choice, that economy choice. If I want to sell it for three money, I have to sell it right away. If I keep it, it's only worth one money down the road. That's the house rule I'm going to be making in this game. I plan on playing this game solo and with other people in my group with that rule change to see where it puts Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition for me. Additionally, this video may be Patreon, not exclusive, it may be Patreon, uh, visible to Patreons first, because I, depending on the timeline of when I do things or whatnot, I don't know exactly when this video will be going up. It will be on the main channel at some point, but I don't know exactly when. And so with that long uh, preamble aside, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, I do have, I already made my decisions over here. I drew my starting corporations. I'll explain the game a bit as we go through it. Uh, I'm assuming to some extent that you're coming in with a general knowledge of Terraforming Mars. Uh, I'll give a go ahead and give, let's give a 60 second overview. So starting now. In Terraforming Mars, what you're trying to do is you're trying to turn over all these water tiles to add water to Mars, you're trying to raise the oxygen level to max, and you're trying to raise the uh, the temperature to max. The point of the solo game is to effectively do that at the end of roughly 25 rounds. Uh, this game is going to be combining Terraforming Mars and Race for the Galaxy. To that end, every round, I'm going to go ahead and pick a phase, a phase that allows me to do different things. So whatever I want to do in this game, I have to ensure that I play a phase at the right time. Along with that, we're going to have the solo player, the solo AI, is going to be revealing a random phase and going continuously through their deck. So we know that every five turns we will see all the five phases, but we don't know in what order they will. When we get to the fifth round, we are going to be able to choose the order of their phases for the final fifth round. At the end of the game, we have to have successfully terraformed Mars along the way, and most of the game is going to run on a card tableau engine. You're going to be gathering cards that are going to increase your resources. The goal of getting resources is so you can pay for more cards, so you can get more heat, so that you can buy trees, so you can raise the auction, so you can do all the things you're trying to do to raise those three parameters and hopefully win by the end of 25 five rounds. 
I think that was a minute exactly. Let me know. In any case, moving on from there, I have my starting corporations that I've get dealt myself. I'm going to be choosing Helion, where I'm going to start with three heat. So one, two, three. And every time I can always use heat as money. It's also going to give me 28 starting money. So I'm going to take my 28. I'm counting these fives as tens because my copy did not come with tens. So I'm going to be copy counting these fives as tens instead. That's going to be 28 money over there. We're going to put this off to the side. We're not no, no longer using those. From there, feel free to pause the video if you want to see which cards I'm choosing with a little more detail. I'm not going to talk through these. I'll talk through my turns, but I'm going to be keeping this. I'm going to be keeping this. I'm going to be keeping this and this. I probably should keep this as well. It's a good starting turn card. It gives me a lot of options at the end of the game. Let's go ahead and keep this. I'm going to sell these three cards, probably keeping more than I should. I'm going to sell these three cards for nine money. Remember my rule, I have to choose now as I go. So it's going to be another six and another three more money. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to shuffle the AI. We're going to move my corporation off to my side. Let's make sure you can see that on camera. You good, you could, not good. You good, you could, good is what I'm trying to say. We're going to go ahead and start us off. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my ability. I know what I want to do. I think I want to go ahead and do that. I want to get that up and running as fast as possible. So we're going to go ahead and play this card over here. I got that, we got this, and we're going to go ahead and reveal. So we have research, which is not bad, and we have development. Uh, basically in the game, we're gonna be playing through five phases. The, the phases are gonna be, well, usually there's little tiles. I don't bother using them, they just add to the play space. There's gonna be phases one, two, three, four, and five. I'll talk through them as they come up. Development is each player can play a green project card. I'm going to go ahead and play that card over there. It's it's going to cost me five money, but because I played this card, I'm going to pay three MC less, three credits for it, three credits fewer for this card. So I'm going to pay only two credits for that card, and I'm starting to build up my income. I also should have a marker over here, and we should have a game marker over here. That's going to be the tracking the rounds. So that's going to be that over there. We're going to move to the research phase. The research phase, I can draw two cards and keep one. So I'm going to draw two cards, if you're wondering why I have four piles, is so that they don't look like a giant stack on the table. We're gonna have these two cards over here. I don't know if, I mean, well, one of them is inherently gonna be kept or traded for three money. So we have mining infrastructures, which is gonna be a long time before I can play this card. It's a great card, but I'm not gonna be able to keep that one. So we're gonna get rid of that for sure. We have developed infrastructure, spend 10 MC to, to raise the temperature one step, reduce this if you have five or more blue cards in play. It's a very cool concept. It would take me a while to execute, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell it for three money so I can have as much money as possible in my engine. Although it is tempting, no. 10 money, it's tempting, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm, do I wanna keep this card? This is the, this is the problem with Terraforming Mars. Reduce this by five, that could be so useful to reduce that by five. It's gonna be very helpful to increase the TM. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, but I may as well. Ugh. This is the hard part about Terraforming Mars, the part that always makes it a crunch to decide what to do. Oh boy. You know what? We're going to go ahead and keep it reluctantly. We're going to try to keep it. I, I feel like I'm going to regret this, but let's go ahead and keep it. Okay, cool. We got that over there. We did this. And that's going to be that their card. My card's going to rotate because you can't play the same card twice in a row. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this card over here and watch what he plays. So I have played uh, research because I want to draw more cards. I want to get my engine up and running, be able to choose what I want. They've chosen development. Excellent. So we're going to start with development. Again, you've only actually seen two phases so far because of the ordering there. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make uh, that card's probably the right way to go. I'm going to go ahead and make micro mills, which is going to give me a heat production, which is excellent, as well as going to give me one in my steel, which is going to give me a discount of two whenever I play a card with an earth tag. That's going to cost me nine, so I'll pay in ten and take back one. I played research, so I'm going to go ahead and draw five cards. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to keep two of them, which is great because we got more blue cards in my engine. Although, I don't know if I want to go with a blue card engine, which makes this trickier. Uh, this is going to be a a little bit helpful but not that helpful it does help me a little bit that one's not the worst uh, we're going to go ahead and community stores is uh, gain 2mc if you chose the action if you chose the action phase also gain a plant I don't know if I care for that we're gonna get rid of that uh, this one doing the production phase when you play a tag that could be helpful I do have a lot of earth tags coming my way so maybe I'll do that let's check these out we have viral enhancers. When you play one of these tags, including these, gain one plant or add one animal or microbe to another card. And then you have this one, which requires red oxygen or higher. It's gonna be a while till we can play that. So gain one or add, when you play a tag, including these, gain one plant or add an animal. That's a cool concept. I think I'm going to go ahead and take both of these. The question is, do I keep both of these? I think I'm going to keep this and then 
do I want these? When you play a tag, include this add a micro pair, remove a micro to draw a card. I'm I'm debating whether to go a micro strategy to a degree, but I'm not sure. It doesn't feel I do want blue cards. The blue cards would be helpful, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these to get three. No, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep them both cards. Okay. And again, I cannot sell them later. Great, that's going to be that phase over there. And this phase, this is going to come back to my hand. That's going to be there. Now we know he's going to be playing either production or a research or an action or t or the, what's it called, the construction phase. So to that end, I think it's useful to have an action card out, but I don't really have any action cards out, at least not yet, which is part of the problem. So it might be helpful to do that. But I think I'm really just going to go with development. Development is still the way to go. If he plays an action, it's going to be wasted. So I'm playing development, and let's see what he plays. He's going to be playing action, which is a bit wasted. It's unfortunate. Uh, nothing I can do there. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of basic actions that I can take. I'm choosing not to take any of them. So I'm just moving forward with development. And to that end, the development is going to involve playing this one. Uh, underground city which is going to again increase my production track by one but also giving me a steal so again my cards will be cheaper that card's going to cost me five because i get a discount of two and i get another discount of three so i'm only paying two for that card which is a nice cheap card to get out and running in my phase these should really be a little down here i'll explain why later but i, I line up these bonuses so that they're easier to see this is going to come back to my hand and we did action action is not going to help me there's no actions i currently want to take i could pay to raise the heat and thus the terraform rating but I, I mean, I can't pay, 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 pay to raise the heat. I could pay to raise. The, sorry, I could pay to raise the heat by 14 money, but I'd rather have my money for right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue. He's likely playing either production or that. Either one of those. I don't really want to do production. I'll rely on him playing production. I could do construction, but he's going to be doing it again at some point, and none of my other cards are really helpful. So again, I'm gonna go ahead with research, trying to continue to uh, get more cards that will help me there. So he's gonna go ahead and play his card, which is going to be production. So we're gonna produce and then do research. So. I'm going to get five money plus my three is going to be eight money over there. That's going to be four, three, and then three. That's that. Excellent. Okay. Then additionally, I'm going to go ahead and get four heat production. Don't forget, I can use heat as credits, but not vice versa. And then none of these are going to produce. That's my production round there. Then it's going to be my turn, and I will take the research ability, where I'm going to draw five cards and keep two again. One, two, three, four, five. There is a hand limit, but I don't think I'm at risk of that just yet. So that's going to go here. This will come back. And let's go ahead and see what we have. We have no blue cards, unfortunately, so I'm not able to build the blue card engine. We have technology demonstration. That's helpful a bit, but not really. Uh, we have gain a force VP and raise an auction. That might be, I like the protected valley. Uh, the protective valley might be helpful. What cards do I have? I have do I have more earth tags? Because this earth tag one is helpful-ish, but not very helpful-ish. Okay, we have ice android, ice asteroid, not android, where we can flip two ocean tiles. We have nitrogen rich asteroid where we can raise my TR, raise the temperature, gain two plants. Uh, that's all helpful. I like the idea of continuing to do my production though to generate that up to the, the through the roof. So gain a forest VP, raise auction, doing the production phase, that get that. And this one's going to be that. Uh, it's going to take a lot of development steps, but I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to just continue to drive home that development. And I'm going to take these two cards, getting rid of these three. And I'm not selling either of them again. Uh, that's going to be that my research card. And now we know he's playing an action card, which is a nice part. But I'm still going to go ahead and play my... Uh, no, that's there. We just stays there. I'm going to go ahead and play development, continuing to milk that for as much as possible. So to that end, I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'm just going to go ahead and do nuclear plants. I probably should have that, done that one earlier. It's a pretty good card. I'm going to do nuclear plants, and that's going to cost me. Uh, it's going to cost me a little bit. So I'm paying this one. Oh, and he's playing this. So I'm going to go ahead and get a discount of three plus a further discount of four because my steal's at two. So that's going to be a total of discount of seven, which means I'm paying three, which is a great way to get that card in play. Raising my, my one and raising my heat by three. One, two, three. So I'm really trying to generate my production as much as possible. Keep in mind, I've played Terraforming Mars solo. Never played Ares Expedition solo. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go to the construction phase where each player can play a red or blue card. I'm going to play this blue card. This one's going to go up here because this affects phases one and two. It affects the construction phases of the game. So we're going to go ahead and get that moving, that engine running. That's going to cost me a full five. No discounts there. So that's going to be five over here like so. Okay, that's going to be that. He is going to go ahead and move this one. I'm playing on normal mode, this easy, normal, and like advanced, or whatever it is, which means I get to now choose one ter terraform rating, either oxygen or heat, to advance. I'm going to choose oxygen because I know that 
in my, it basically gives me four or five advancements across the course of the game. It's just a little bit more of a help. And in general, in at least going by base terraforming Mars, the amount the game escalates as you go through it, it means that it may well be possible the first three rounds I barely touch these and then get most of it done in the last round. So we're going to draw research back. We have development. I think I would like to start capitalizing on my production engine more and more. I could continue to research, but I think I'm going to start doing production. I'm going to need more cards. I'm definitely going to need more cards. You know what? Maybe I don't. Maybe I continue to go for more cards then. He's going to do development, which is fine. He might do production, which is also possible. That would be unfortunate. The nice part is once he plays a card, I can ensure that I don't do the same cards as him. I really want to do, you know what? Production, production is too useful. I'm going to go ahead and produce. So I'm going to go ahead and produce. He's probably not going to produce. Of course he produced. That's the worst. That's not helpful, especially in a solo game where I'm on a timer. That is very not helpful. Okay. So he's going to produce. I'm going to produce. The benefit is I get four extra credits. So I get four plus four plus five, which is going to be a total of uh, 13. So I get one of these plus three of these. I'm going to get seven heat, which is the nice part. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five six, seven, and then I'm going to get, well, nothing else. That's going to be the production round, and that's over. I get development back. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and develop again, because this is going to stay here. I guess I'm going to go ahead and develop again, because that is the pathway I'm still moving forward on, trying to get as much development as possible. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and develop. We're going to play this. Let's see what he plays. And it's going to be construction, which is not necessarily the worst. So I'm going to go ahead and develop. I'm going to go ahead and play this card over here, which is again going to up my heat by one. The card's completely free. My heat is a further up one. Uh, it also has an energy tag. When I play an energy tag, I pay four less for it, which is useless. I didn't realize how cheap that card was when I combo those, but I do draw a card, which is helpful. And I've drawn natural preserves. Requires red, oxygen, or higher, and during the production phase, this produces two extra MC. It's also worth a point. The points are nice for solo games, but really I'm just trying to survive for my first solo game, and after that, it's beat my score. Is three money more or less helpful than this compared to what else I have? I think I'd rather have the three money, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and not keep that card. Although there's so many... I'm not restricted by money just yet, but I will be... I have too many cards. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to take the three money. Okay. So that's going to be that. That goes into my money pool. And then from there, we now go to the construction phase. In the construction phase, I'm going to go ahead and play developed infrastructure, which will give me more opportunities to raise the heat. Now, this one is going to be an activated action. So I'm going to put this on the right side of my card over here. I'm going to try to make sure you can see them on camera, and I'll reposition if I need to. Develop infrastructure is going to be I can spend 10 mega credits to raise the temperature. I think it's mega credits. Spend 10 credits to raise the temperature one step. Reduce this by five if you have five or more blue cards. I have two blue cards, hence my search for blue cards. I'm going to go ahead and take back production. Development going to go and play. We know he's playing a card. I think, I mean, production is possibly a way to go, but I think I still need more research going on. So I'm going to go ahead and do my research card. He's going to do his research card, isn't he? I'm going to do production. I'm going to keep chaining that until he plays his research card. Okay, development. Fine. Excellent. Beautiful. So I play production. He plays development. So I'm going to go ahead and continue my production engines because why not? Uh, in this case, I'm going to play this tag over here. This is going to cost me 22 less my four. So that's going to be 18. So the first time I'm spending a decent chunk of money, I'll just pay 20 and take two change. Uh, that's going to give me another plant tag, which is another one of these tags. It's going to raise my income by two. So I go to six over there. I get uh, again a force victory point, which the points aren't helpful. But you know, the fact that I'm raising G oxygen and thus my terraform rating, that is helpful. Full, doing the production phase, uh, gain a force, and raise oxygen one step. Yep, that's going to be that. Okay, so that is going to be protected valley, generating income, and that. Uh, now, production phase. Production phase is going to be, again, I play produce, so that's going to be 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 6 is 16. So my money is still doing just fine right now, which is unusual for me, but... And then we're going to go ahead and generate a straight up 8 heat, so generate 10 and make that 2, and that's going to be our production phase. He's going to do actions at some point, which means I'm going to slide up my terraform, the heat, when he does that. So that is going to be that. I'm going to take back that, take back that, put this here, and now think through, again, he's going to play research in a second, so I'd rather, there's two cars left, one of them's got to be research. So I am going to double down once again on my development, uh, trying to hope that he plays research. Please play research, please play research, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to develop, I'm going to play for this card, this is going to cost me a full, well, six minus three, so I'm going to pay three for that card, and that's going to generate one income per earth tag I have, I currently have two, so I'm going to go up two income. The nice thing about Terraforming Mars, Ares compared to regular Terraforming Mars, is that's going to keep escalating. As I play more Earth tags, I'll get more income there. Then I'm going to research where I'm going to draw two cards and keep one. So, ooh, a blue card. 
I'm definitely keeping the blue one. That's that, and I'm keeping it, absolutely. And he's going to be playing a uh, play an action card next, which is nice. So I'm going to be able to play this next turn, which is going to help, because I'll be able to spend 12 credits to flip an ocean tile, reduce this by one MC per energy tag I have. I need more energy tags, but that's fine. I'm down to two cards left, which means now I'm going to go ahead and play research to draw more cards. I'm going to take back production, slide research sideways, and then I'm going to go ahead and play research while he plays the, um, oh, he did construction already. We're doing actions now. Okay, we're doing actions. So we're going to go ahead and do actions and research. So I'm going to start with uh, the actions because that's the order you go in. I'm going to pay 10 plus another 6 to go ahead and basically just straight up raise the temperature by 2. That's going to be 1, 2, and that, thus my terraform rating, 1, 2. That's going to give me more income every single round. That was helpful. Additionally, I'm going to go ahead and pay 10 money to raise the temperature by an additional 1 because I can do that. 1 and 1. So we're going to try to get the temperature as high as possible, as fast as possible, continue to generate heat and all that. That's going to be the action phase. And then we're going to the research phase where I'm going to draw 5 cards and keep 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the first time I'm starting to get a little bit worried about my money because I just spent a lot of heat and money in one shot. Okay, so I know that I have at least one of those that I like, which means these are already helpful. We have standard technology. You pay four MC less for standard auction actions. I have a good money game. That might be good for me. Uh, we have interplanetary conference. When you play an earth or a tag, excluding this, you pay three MC less and draw a card. I really like that. We have medical lab. Doing the production phase, produce one per two you have, including that. That is good. We have industrial microbes. Doing the production phase produces a heat. And when you pay, when you play a card, you pay two M less for it. I like it, but I like the other ones more. And we have fusion power, requires two tags. Doing the production phase, draw a card. I am going heavy on production. These are four. Oh, see, I haven't felt the tenseness just yet, but now I'm feeling the tenseness. So paying less for standard projects is good, but having card draw is going to be better, I think, in this case, because I'm generating a bit of a money engine. So the ability to be able to pay to raise all the standard projects would be helpful, especially with a good money engine. Maybe I should be keeping that. When you play a tag, including this, pay three MC less and draw a card. I like the idea of getting the Earth tag. The Earth tag, I'm definitely keeping this one. And then from these two, drawing cards is helpful, but so is the money engine. And I don't really have, I don't really have, ah, oh, geez. Which one do I keep? I'm going to double down on the medical lab. It's going to be very helpful. I really regret that standard projects, but we're going to go ahead and take that. Okay, these are going to be the cards I keep, and I'm yes, I am going to be keeping both. That's going to the research phase. We're going to take back development. You can guess what I'm going to play. We're going to advance this by one, which means we're going to advance that by one as well, and shuffle these up. We're into round three out of, well, not enough is the correct answer. Okay. And then, and I put this on zero, which might have been a mistake, by the way. So let's go ahead and check that. I think you're supposed to put that on one. So the people who noticed that at the beginning, they're going to go ahead, set up. We're going to go ahead and put the dummy player on, started on one, advanced on, on the one on the TR track. So he should have started on one, which means he advanced to three. Like I said, it's 25 rounds total. Although the last round, we choose the order, which is helpful. But we're going to go ahead and do development. So we have development on top of research. We have that. Please do not play development. Please do not play development. Thank you. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play this card over here. That's going to cost me three less and four less for a total of seven less. So I'm going to pay eight for that card. The nice part is I'm going to see a bunch of money back. So four and four. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and get one income per every two earth tags. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's going to be an additional three income, so going from eight to 11, grabbing a cube, putting it on the 10 slot over there. That is going to be that. Then we're going to go ahead and produce. So we're going to produce 11 money plus another, uh, what is that? We're nine money, so it's going to be 20 money. We're going to get eight heat, so I'm going to put this. I'll just get eight heat because I might be breaking it up as I need to. And that is going to be a decent production round. No card draw, unfortunately. I really wanted that card draw, but you get what you get, and you don't get upset. Okay, now the nice part is I could double down on production because any other card I do, he might take from me. So it might be the right time to double up in production. Alternatively, I can double up on doing an action card, be able to do two actions, which could be useful, especially if he does a bunch of action related stuff. But I think I'm going to double up in production because I like, I like being able to follow him in ways that I know I'm getting every possible phase because that's really important in a solo game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And beautiful. Okay, because I was debating doing construction. So we're going to do construction first. Where I'm going to go ahead and construct. I think the right move is volcanic pools might be the right move because it gives me the ability to start spending stuff on things right away. I think volcanic pools might be the right move. 
or I could do those, um, or I could do when you play uh, Earth Tag, including this, you pay three MC less, depends what I have, no, it doesn't really matter, and draw a card. I like the drawing a card part, that could be very useful, but I really, I think I'm going to take advantage of Volcanic Pools, I'm going to put Volcanic Pools in place, making sure you can still see it, this is going to allow me to pay 12 money to basically draw an Ocean Tile, but what discounted by however many tags I have, which is going to be one right now, so right now I'm paying 11 money, that's going to be useful when they play their action card. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and produce, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is plus four, so I get another eight heat, this time I will do that, uh, and then I'm going to get 11 plus nine, which is 20 plus four, I'm going to get 24 money. So I am rolling in it, which is going to be very helpful because I have two standard actions that allow me to, well, basically do stuff there. So I'm going to take this card back, we're going to rotate my heat, I don't know what he's playing, I know that I think I need to do research, because I could do research or I could do actions, he still potentially could do actions, he's already played production and construction, which means I could play construction, construction would be a good way to get both of these out now, before he follows up with a research, so maybe I'll go ahead and get both of these, mm, no, but it's another card, nope, I'm not going to do that, or should I? No, I'm going to go with research and hope he doesn't do research. So I'm playing research, and please don't, please don't, yes, thank you. Although, annoyingly, I don't have any cards that I can play and take advantage of the development. So I don't get to do anything with development, unfortunately. I will get to go ahead and research, so I'm going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to go ahead and look at them. And we have the following. You may play an additional blue or red card this phase, and I can spend one TR to draw three cards. That is interesting. I like that card. Uh, we have Beam from a Thorium Asteroid, requires a Jovian tag, which I do not have yet. During the production phase, this produces a plant and three heat. That's cool. We have Terraforming Gan Ganymede, doing your production phase. For every, raise your TR per, raise your TR per Jovian tag you have, including this one. It's not gonna be worth it. We have Great uh, Escarpment Consortium. When you play a tag, you pay two or less. It's nice. And then we have this one over here, which is going to be requires five ocean tiles to be flipped. That's going to be way too far down the road. Uh, yeah, it's going to be victory point based. So we're left with these three cards over here. I really like this one. It's really not bad, and it generates a few of my cards nicely, but it needs... Wait, no, I have a Jovian tag. Requires a Jovian tag. Do I have one? I do not have a Jovian tag yet, but it gives me another reason to keep a Jovian tag. And this one is nice, but I think I don't see enough benefit from it right now. So I'm going to keep the beam from a thorium asteroid, as well as asset liquidation. And yes, again, I'm going to keep both of those cards. So I have a ton of blue cards now, which means it's going to be helpful in a second. So I think the right move now is action because then he might play regular. I'm going to do construction, so that's going to give me a discount. So yeah, we're going to get production back. Oh, did, did you research? Yeah, that was research. Okay, I'm going to get production back. Research turns sideways, and I think I am doing action because, uh, I mean construction, because what's going to happen there is then he may play his action card, which would be very helpful. Yes, excellent. So, construction. I'm going to go ahead and play two construction cards. I'm going to play asset liquidation, first of all. That's going to give me another ability in the green phase. Hopefully, you can still see these. Leave me one second to check. That's going to cost me zero, by the way. You can still see that on camera. Great. The next ones I have to be careful of. So that's going to give me an ability over here, which is very useful. Let's me draw some cards. Uh, additionally, I'm going to play, because I can play the bonus for doing a blue one, I can play a second card. So that cost me zero, which is great. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead with Interplanetary Conference. So I'm going to pay six for that one. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, but then I actually pay three, M three MC less because of that ability. So I take the three MC back. Plus I draw a card. Do I want to keep or sell it? Uh, add one microbe to this card or remove two microbes to raise the temperature. It requires red oxygen. We're already at, so I think I will keep this card, actually, because it plays nicely off of this one as well. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little helpful. Not the best combo, but a little helpful. Helpful enough to keep it. And that's going to be over there still. So we took that, we drew a card, and we are good to go there. Additionally, I raise my income by one because that's going to have an earth tag. So I'm going to raise my income by one, and now we move to the action phase. So each player can activate any actions they want. In my case, I have a few things to note. So first of all, I can go ahead and play an additional blue or red card this phase. So I can play, oh, I can, wait. You may play an additional blue or red card this phase. Oh, this phase. Oh, that's a decision. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play this one. So I'm gonna play this one, which is gonna be another action. So we're gonna have to start pushing these off to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this. So that was a specific action over there where I could play an additional red card this phase, blue or red card, which I'm doing. So it's going to cost me 10 for that. Uh, then, doing the action phase now, 
uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our actions. I'm going to lower my TR by one to draw three cards. I will look at them shortly to figure out what I want to do with them. So give me a second. Then I'm going to go ahead and pay 12 minus one. So I'm going to pay a total of 11 to flip a water tile. So this is the first time you see me flip a water tile. I'm going to get the bonus shown, which is going to be a card draw. So we're going to be drawing four cards. Uh, because I flipped a water tile, I also up my TR by one. Then we're going to go ahead and pay 10, but we're going to only pay five because I have five blue cards. So we're paying five to raise the temperature, which is beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and raise my TR and the temperature. So we are good in that sense. That's going to be all three of these, plus my standard actions where I'm going to pay another 16 to raise the temperature again by another one, two, and one, two. That is going to be that little puzzle there. And now we choose which cards to keep and which cards to purge. Oh my gosh, heat. We have science, 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 science. Do we have science tags? We have another, no we don't. So we only have one, we have two science tags, which means this might be playable soon. Uh, we have the mine, which is great. That's gonna really discount all the cards, but it's gonna discount them to a point, okay. Oh, doing the production phase, draw a card. That's beautiful. I need that Jovian tag to be able to play my other one. And this one is doing the production phase. This produces one plant per micro card you have, including this one. I kind of want to keep them all because I currently, I will have one, two micro cards. That's going to generate two plants for the production phase. There's not going to be a ton of production phases, but I'm going to sadly and reluctantly keep all of these. I probably should not. This is my, um, my stomach being, my eyes being larger than my stomach. So I have all these. Uh, we're, we know he's playing research next, which is great. So I'm gonna have more card draw. My this card comes back, and I think I need to play some green development. So we're gonna play green development, and now he's gonna play research. That was a very productive turn. Okay, so we need a Jovian tag in play to be able to play that Jovian tag card, which is helpful. But I really need to play mine first. So we're gonna play mine first which is going to cost me, because I play this, I get a discount of three, plus a discount of four, which means I pay three for this card, and then we're going to go ahead, this should really be going, this should really be going oh, over here, let's put this over here, and that's gonna up my that by two, which is gonna be very helpful. Okay, so as you can see over here, this has like phase one bonuses and two bonuses, and production. This has just the bonuses, so we're putting that over there. I really should just go over here, I guess. There we go, perfect, okay. Uh, that's gonna be that, we did that. All players draw two cards and keep one. So we're gonna draw two cards and we're going to keep one of these. Oh, ooh, I like the automated factories. That's very helpful for my current, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like so selfish. Do I have blue cards to play? I have blue cards to play, this costs too much. I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna keep automated factories. I'm really generating a huge production engine right now. That's what I'm going with, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. Uh, we have development off to the side. He's going to shuffle up. He now moves into round four. You can see how this is looking more and more like I will not win. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and up the oxygen again by one. I think we have the heat under control. We're gonna constantly keep pushing at this. We're entering, we're more than halfway past the game. But then again, the first half of the game is building up your engine and the last two rounds are gonna be capitalizing on that engine. So we're gonna go ahead and pick a card. We can't pick development. Uh, I think production is probably the way to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do production. He might do production, but that first round pick, there's not much we can predict around, unfortunately. Please don't be production, please don't be production. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start with actions. Now, I didn't generate my heat first. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait for the next time he plays actions. So. I still could do actions. I am going to lower my rating by one to draw another three cards. We'll look at them in a minute to decide what to keep. I really like that action. It's a really messed up action. We're gonna go ahead and pay 12, lowered by my energy. So we're gonna pay 11 to go ahead and uh, flip one ocean tile and then raise my TR by one. So my TR goes back up, plus we draw a card plus we get a plant tile, the first one I've gotten all game, and then we're gonna pay five, which is an easy no-brainer move whatsoever, to go ahead and generate the heat by one and my terraform rating by one. Uh, we can't do any basic actions because I mean we could pay something, but it's gonna be too much money, which means now we go to choosing cards. We are at currently at six cards. I believe the hand limit is 10, I'll have to double check that. And what do we have here? Okay, cards you discard are worth an additional MC. I haven't been discarding that many cards yet. We can spend eight heat to raise my TR by one. So this is great for a competitive game, but raising my TR doesn't help me right now. I, I think I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna take three money. Okay, again, right now I'm just focusing on winning. I'm not focusing on score. We'll focus on meeting score later. Requires two science tags, raise oxygen by one step. That could be worth it, especially because he gives me opportunities to play cards. I think I'll keep that. We have balanced portfolios, requires you spend a TR during the production step. This produces three MC, but it has a science tag, which I need, so I'm gonna keep that. We have composting factory, cards you discard for MC worth an additional credit. So using my uh, butchered rules, that means I'd sell it for four when I'm selling it initially and sell it for two when I sell it later. 
That's very useful, but I haven't been selling. Do I have a lot of card draw? I have card draw for my asset liquidation, but this would require 13 money to spend. It's not going to happen. In a longer game, perhaps, I think the 13 money, I think the 13 money plus the three is, I'd rather have the three now. So that's going to be that. And then we produce. So I play the production card, which means I'm going to be getting tw uh, 13 plus four is 17. 17 plus 12 is 29. So I'm getting 30 money minus one. I'm going to get eight heat. So that's going to be a four and four. Also, the best part is, especially with my production engine, it's so important that I do not match my production with his, which arguably means this was a bad play. And now that's going to be my production there. And then I'm going to take my development card back. You can guess what I'm playing. And I'm playing development because I have a giant handful of green cards. Uh, then he's going to go ahead and he's going to do research. Okay, so we're going to start with development. I'm going to develop something. What is the most powerful, ridiculous, over-the-top thing I could develop? Probably something with a tag. We want the tags. Where's my uh, space tags? Where's my, here we go, Callisto Pen Penal Mines. Okay, so this is going to cost me, uh, well, three less, and then less another eight. So it's going to cost me 11 less, which means I pay nine for this card. So I'm going to pay nine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pay one and take one back, and I get my card draw increased. Arguably wasn't worth it, by the way, but it, I also get this kind of three more because it's a, it's a Jovian tag, and then get a card draw two. Oh, that's just not even cool at all. That really helps my engine. Oh my gosh. I'm, out of, I'm never going to play my green cards. I'm just going to build the best engine possible and then lose the game. We're going to take back production. Uh, the good news is because you can pay, you can literally pay for all the three stats. So if I generated enough money, it does pay for itself in the end. And then we're going to do research. We're going to draw two cards. I, do, am I at my hand limit yet? Nope, I'm still good. Draw two cards and keep one. And that means we're going to look at these two. Requires yellow temperature. Spend up to four heat to gain that much plants. Is that good for me? It helps me raise the oxygen debatably. Uh, then we have this one, one VP for every four style you have, add a micro to another card or add an animal to another card. What's the micro card I have that helps me? There was one, I thought, maybe. Doing the production phases produces one per mic plant you have, per micro tag. So it's not about the tags. Hmm. I don't know if either of these really help me. This one, the greenhouses might. Because I get to turn thing, heat into plants, which could be useful. And that could be useful for planting trees, which could be useful for raising the TR, because it's cheaper than the alternative. I guess I will take greenhouses reluctantly. I'm really having second thoughts about whether that's the right move or not, but we're going to go ahead and go with it. All right, so we're hoping he did that. We play development. That's fine, which means we could either play production or action. Action is not the worst because action really lets me continuously uh, flip these tiles and I have the money to justify it. But it also means I'll have card draw. So I think I'll hold off on action and I think I'm still gonna go for construction. So production, I'm gonna alternate this too because I really think money is the solution to my problems. Not, not all of life's problems, but my problems. So what's he gonna do? Development, beautiful. Okay, was I debating development? No, I couldn't do development. Okay, so what's the most ridiculous development thing I can do? Card draw is helpful. I like automated factories. This one is one plant per micro tag I have, which would currently be two. So I could produce two plants. I could get three money, which is helpful again for the money game. Or what's, no, I wanted to do this one. This one's the one I wanted. I wanted this one because now that I have that. So we're gonna do this one over here. That's gonna cost me 23, unfortunately, less four. So we're gonna have less four over here uh, because less three, I mean, and we're gonna draw a card. So it's gonna cost me 20 effectively. So that's gonna be 20, but it will raise my plant production by one and my heat production by one, two, three. And we're gonna get another little cube over there. Okay, that's gonna be that. Uh, it requires this, the production phase produces one plant and three heat. And then we're going to go ahead and, oh, we have a science tag. What do we do with this? When we do this, we pay four less. So I forgot about that. That's an energy tag. So I pay four less for it. And then I basically draw two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to draw two more cards. And that, because one for the tag, the, the one for the Jovian tag and one for the, uh, car, the energy tag. And that's going to be that. What do we keep here? Spend two to draw a card. That could be useful. I just, at this point, I think I need money more and more. Soil warming could be helpful. Mm, especially with my engine, it's just, it's not, it's not going to pay off. How many, I have so many development cards. I'm just going to turn these in for six money. I think at this point, I just need as much money as possible so I can just start paying for things. So I'm worried about losing. I'm loving the engine I'm building, but I'm worried about losing the game. And then we're going to go ahead and produce. So, yeah, produce. That's sad. Okay, we're going to go ahead and produce. I'm going to get four MC plus uh, 13 plus 12 is going to be 20, wait, four plus 13 plus 12 is going to be 29 again. So that's going to be 30 over here, less one. And then I'm going to generate 11 heat, which is beautiful. And then I'm going to generate one plant, which I'll happily take. 
Okay, and that's going to be the production phase. So I'm gonna get my development card back. Again, you can guess what I'm doing. I'm waiting for him to play action at this point because I think that's the right move. I'm gonna play development and he's gonna play construction. Beautiful. Okay, again, what's the most expensive over the top card? Oh, and I get a card draw. I get a card draw too. Uh, you, after you play a green card from your hand, there's a printed cost of nine. You may play a green card from your hand, there's a printed cost of nine MC or less without playing its card. I do have, ooh, ooh, interesting. Okay, I have multiple cards that will help me, so I'm going to keep this one. So that's going to be useful. Uh, then we have, why did I do that? Because a card draw, then development. And now I'm going to play Toll Station, because I think that's a cool card to play. That's going to cost me 16, so I'm going to pay that, plus another 6. At this point, I should really be doing the math on whether these cards are worth it, but that card's giving me a free card along with it, so I think it is. And then we're going to play a card without paying its cost. Now here's a rules question. This card says you have to requ require you to spend TR. Does that? Oh, it says while paying its MC cost. They were good about that. Okay, so my two options for my card for free card, that's nine or less, is going to be either of these. I think this is the right one because we're going to go down a TR. We're going to go up for heat production. That's bringing us to 15. Geez, what, 15 heat production. And because it has both those tags, oh, no, that's not the right card to pay. That's not because that card's already free. So I'm going to go back down uh, five to... Uh, what's it called, back down 4 to 11, I'm going to keep this card, I'm still playing the TR, I'm going to do this one over here, that's going to give me 3 income, 1, 2, 3, because basically this card's already going to be almost free because of the nature of my discounts there, so we're generating a long line of production over here, it's a little crazy, uh, that's going to be my development, and I paid 3, I didn't pay 3 less for it, so I got 3 money back. And that's going to be that. Then we go to construction where I can go ahead and play a few options. Now, I do finally have two science tags, which means I think I want to go ahead and just pay that for six money. I think or greenhouses. Greenhouses might be the way to go. I think I'm going to do greenhouses. So I'm going to play greenhouses, which is going to cost me one money because I get a discount. Oh, sorry, three money because I get a discount of eight. So I'm going to pay three money for greenhouses. And that, anything else that triggers off plant tags? Nope, nothing there. And then that's going to allow me to convert things. So I'm going to, again, put this up here where you can still see my actionable cards. I have a nice, nice little bundle of actions going on here. And that's going to be my card. That's going to be that card. And now I go to production again, which means he's really overdue for an action. Oh, no, he did actions at the beginning. So I can play actions if I want, which might be the right move at this point. His card is going to be production. So I'm definitely not doing production, which means the right card for me is going to be actions. So we're going to go ahead and play actions on top of development. And then he's going to play production. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and do the following. Actions, one at a time. And I can play, I can activate one of my cards a second time, which is the first time I'm playing the action card. The action bonus is you can activate one card a second time. So, jumping into it. To begin with, I can convert four heat to plants. I'm going to go ahead and do so. That's going to move that over there. Then I'm going to go ahead and convert 16 of these into more TR and more goodness over here. That's going to be one, two TR and one, two heat. Then we have, I can go ahead and, what is this card over here? Add one microbe to this card or remove two microbes. Okay, I'm going to add a microbe to this card, I guess. Doesn't really matter to me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pay five money to go ahead and raise the heat by another step. That's going to be one more and one more. We're going to go ahead and pay, I have two energy tags, so we're going to pay 10 money to flip over a, another plant tile, which is going to give me two plants. That is very helpful, by the way. Okay, and I'm going to raise my TR one more, and then I'm going to pay eight plants, now that I have eight plants, to go ahead and raise the oxygen by one, raising my TR one more. That's continuously raising my income. Uh, and then anything else? I did that. I did not do the card draw. Is it worth it at this point? Honestly, it's worth it even if only for the income. The nine money I get will probably be worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw three more cards. One, two, three. Let's see what amazing goodness we have. Discard up to three cards in order to drop three cards. Nope, I'm going to keep three money. Okay. We have requires red oxygen. No, this is just points. Although points plus a discount. Anything else? Nope, it's just going to be points, so I'm going to go ahead and take three money. Okay, and then we have Zeppelins, requires red auction. During the production phase, this produces one MC for every forest, per forest victory point you have. Uh, speaking of which, I just built a forest with my tree, so I should have another one. So this will generate two victory points in the production phase. I think I have too many development cards as it is, so again, we're going to take three money. And that's going to be that. So just the nine money is worth it. I think it's a good trade-in. Again, it lowers our points, but we don't care about points. We're just trying to win. Okay, 
and that's going to be the action card and then we're going to go ahead and leave the action card there and development and now we can actually choose the order of operations that he goes with so how does this benefit us I can play development right now and he can play production that could be useful I like the idea that I'm saving his action card for last, I think. So yeah, I'm going to start with development. I'm hoping to literally just buy my way into the ending here. So I'm going to start with development and follow that up directly with the production right off the bat. Is there anything construction-wise that I care about? I don't think I do. He has to play all his cards. So the construction might be helpful for this. So maybe I'll hold off on production by one round and go to construction over here. That might be the right move to go. So, okay. So we're going to go with construction first. Oh, wait one second I have a ton of money do I want to buy my way into anything else before I go because I have too much money so I think I might actually want to do that although I'll probably take an action phase before production phase saving his action phase for the last phase I don't know if it matters that much because I want to get as much production as possible I think so maybe if we're doing that then I don't think I want development I think I want production I want production while he goes with construction I think that works but then again, I'm going to continue. No, I think that works. Production, production. I don't think I bother worrying with that. But in the meantime, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pay, uh, I guess, what's the thing I'm weakest at? I'm weakest. Oh, we get to raise one by one when we move this up here. So that's going to be fine there. I think I'm going to go ahead and pay uh, 14 or 20, let's say, to build a tree. So I'm paying 20 to build a tree, which means we're going to raise that by another one. And I'm going to go up another one. And I'll get another tree tile, which is very helpful. And then I'm going to production while he does construction. So for his construction, I'm going to go ahead and play this. That's going to cost me six, which is not a lot. I'm going to pay six for that. One, two, three, four, five, six for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and raise oxygen by one step, which raises that by one step. And that's going to be required two science tags, which I do have. This will put off to the side like so, so you can see the tags on camera. Uh, these events do say face up, so they, that is helpful in Terraforming Mars, in Ares Expedition. That's going to, then we're going to go to production, where I'm going to get four credits, plus on that 18, so 22, plus another 16, uh, plus another 15, 22 is 37. So I'm going to get 37 credits, like I said, I'm just trying to buy my way in. I'll return three. Okay, that's going to be helpful there. And then we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff. So I get one card draw. What's that going to be? Very cool. I need the money. We're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and produce 11 heat, which is very helpful. 11 heat. I probably should have done development. I probably should have done development. Too late now. I'm not going to backtrack this. We're going to take 11 heat. Okay. That's going to be that. Uh, that's 11 heat like so. 11 heat, 11 heat. Why am I thinking? What am I pausing for? Uh, we get one plant, and that's going to be our production phase, and then that's done. We take our action card back. Production's done. We're going to have him do development so that I can actually develop something, which I think I timed the back and forth not well. Maybe we'll have him do development. While, maybe I'll do development while he does production. I think that's the right move. Yeah, I'll do development while he does production. Okay. Well, there's research, too. He has to do research at some point. I'm going to go ahead and do development because I have to do, I don't have to do development, but I don't think the others help me as much. So development. Okay. We're going to go ahead and develop. So what do I get with my development? I think the one I wanted was this one, lunar beams, which is going to go ahead and raise my heat production by four. That's going to take me to five. I'm going to get a discount of, uh, well, first of all, three for that. And then another six and nine for those two. Well, 10 really, but that means I pay nothing for the card. I do lower my terraform rating by one but then I get to draw two cards as well because of both my plant and what's it called. And I also get to up my income by one because of the fact that I have a plant tag. There's something else with these as well. That's going to be the discount over there. Okay. We have microprocessors and I'm not going to have time to play these. I think I just want the money. Same problem as before. It's very cool. Very useful. Right now it's all about the money, 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 all about the money, money, money. I'm going to get four change. It's all about the cards. I'm building up a stronghold of money, trying to close in towards the end there as fast as I possibly can. That's going to be him. Then we're going to go ahead and produce. So the production is going to be as follows. I'm going to produce. I don't get the 4MC bonus, so I am going to get my 17 here, plus my 16 here is 33. So I'm going to get 33 from that. Money, 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 money. As you may have noticed, we're going to get a 15 heat production. So we're closing in on that too nicely. And that's also just straight up money. Remember that too. We're going to get one plant production and one card draw, which is going to be 
These are cool cards. I like these cards. I'm just not going to benefit from the 99. I need all the money I can get. The game is coming to a close. Okay, and that's going to be that. And then I get my production back. Again, it's going to be a production round for me. He's going to go ahead and do his development now. So he'll do his development. So I can do another card, and then I'll do production for mine. Okay, so it does mean we get another card play. Which one of these is the best for me? Um... The 18 one is going to give me card draw. I do have three science tags, and this will cost me. This will cost me the least. So I'm going to go ahead and do quantum quantum extractor. I'm just putting it up here at this point. So quantum extractor. I don't pay three less. I pay eight less plus another four less. So I pay four for the quantum extractor. So that's going to be four for that. I also get a card draw, which basically negates the four I'm paying for it. And I do have three science tags. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, great. So I pay get one card draw which I will, when you use an action, gain MC. Nope, I'm going to trade that. So that basically gives me my 3 MC. So I basically paid one for that card and got back three heat production, which is honestly at this point in the game is not the biggest trade-off, but he has to play a development card at some point. So I may as well. Plus it's two points for the end game. Then we're going to go ahead and do my production, which is going to be a little crazy. I get four MC plus my 17 is 21 plus my 16 brings me to 37. So I'm going to take 40 and return three buy my way into heaven. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then generate 18 heat. So that's going to be two of these and those. Unbelievable. We're going to go ahead and generate one plant and one card draw, which is going to be this. And again, very useful. I'll take the money. Okay, that's that. And then we take development back. We have production out. So the question is, what am I playing? He's playing his research because I may as well save my action for last. Um, oh, production. I can't play production now. Oh, that was my last production. Because action will trigger before production. That was my last production. Interesting. So what can I do that actually helps me at this point? Research won't necessarily help me. Actions won't help me ahead of time because there's no more production. Development won't necessarily help me. Development could help me. I don't know. Um, I don't think development helps me. He's going to do... I guess research and then actions might be the way to go. If I go to, if I do my research along with his actions and I do actions with research, it won't matter. It won't matter. None of these will matter at this point. So I think I am going to go ahead with him doing research and me doing construction. The order won't help me. But I can draw a card doing construction, which is helpful. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. It won't matter at this point. But I draw an extra card if I do research. Fine. Nope. Won't matter. I don't think it'll matter, but let's go ahead. We're going to do research at the same time. It's actually a little interesting. So we're specifically going to line it up to them at the same time, which won't matter at all. I just wanted to have his actions last. That means I'm going to go ahead and draw five cards, potentially keep two. The only thing that could really be useful at this point would be an event, I would argue. So this is not, I'm going to keep two of these, which means I get six money at the very least if I don't keep these. Nope, 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 nope. And uh, one BP, spend two MC to draw a card. Nope. So that's going to be six money for me. I'm going to take six more money, just trying to build up as much as possible. And then we're going to walk into the last round where I have to play something. I may as well play production because why not? I mean, there's nothing I'm going to build from my hand. So ones and twos are useless. No, I could do action. I may as well do action because I get an extra action out of it. Even though we're lining up action with action, it's still the right move, unfortunately. Okay. That's going to be it. This is the part of the game where we get to see if I win or not. This is what we have left on the board. I have a lot of money. I don't know if I win or not. So we are going to go ahead and trigger our actions. And I get to trigger an action twice. So what are we going to do here? To begin with, we're going to convert four money, four research into plants over there. Does that help me at all? I don't know if it even helps me. I'm going to hold off on that because it may not even help me. Because uh, I need an extra plant, which I don't have an extra plant. Would have doing any of these have helped? Nope. Add one, again, uh, gain one plant or add a microbe. Oh, interesting. It's too late now, I'm not going to bother doing that. But I just missed this in one of those cards. Okay, so I'm not going to bother with that. I could add a token to this card, but I can't remove two anyways, although I potentially actually could. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and activate this one. I'm going to put tokens on. I'll just know that I did it. Okay, we're going to pay five money. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to raise the, the heat by one, raising my TR by one. Then we're going to go ahead and pay 12 money, lessen by one, two, three. So we're going to pay nine money. I'll take back a change. And we're going to flip a plant tile. Oh, this might give me a plant. It does not give me a plant. It does give me a card draw, and it gives me one credit. The card draw is going to be useless. So we're going to go ahead and take three more credits. Okay. That's going to be that. 
Uh, so we raise the hand, it also raises our that by one. We can go ahead and lower our TR by one for three card draws, which is definitely going to happen. I'm not even going to look at them. They make no difference at all because I'm not playing anything. And we're going to go ahead and then get nine more credits, which is helpful. Okay, that's all of these. I, I get to do one of those a second time. I'm going to hold off on the one that I get to do a second time uh, until I've done everything else. So we need to raise a whole lot of things. To begin with, we have 24 heat. Okay, that's not 24 heat. I can't do math. That's 46 heat. 46, what is math here? 40 is going to be 5 movement upwards. So four, 40 of these is straight up 5 movement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are close to the heat being max, but we're not there yet. We don't have anything to generate more heat, so there's no point. So we may as well, we're going to hold this here for right now until we know more what we're doing. Then we're going to go ahead and we may as well pay that standard project card. I should have kept it, by the way. The standard project, you need this kind of everything. That might have been the difference in the game. We're going to go ahead and do what we need to raise heat all the way to max, because what are our options alternatively? That's going to cost me 14 money times 3 is going to be 3 of these and then another 12. Okay. That's going to raise my heat all the way to max. We still have plenty of money. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, we're that close there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and start flipping plant tiles. We're going to pay 15, so let's go ahead and pay 30 to flip two ocean tiles. That's going to be one and two. That's going to raise our one, two, and it's going to give us three money back, which we're going to need every cent we can get here, as well as two plant tiles, which is helpful, which means now we're going to activate the trading up to one to four, two plants. We'll, we'll actually finish doing the rest before we do that. Okay. Then we're going to have two more, so we're going to raise, and we're going to flip another. I don't think I'm going to make it, by the way, but it's going to be close. I'm going to flip another two plant to two ocean tiles. That's going to be another four money and another two plants. Okay. So two plants and four money. This is going to be really close uh, for money and then raising my TR by another two. And then we're going to do it again, paying another 15. We're running out of money here. We're running out of money. And I'm going to pay 15 and flip this bad boy, which is going to give me a card draw, which is basically three money because I'm not keeping any cards at this point. So that's going to be three money and that raises my TR by one. And now we're done with the plant board. Okay, so we're doing fairly well there. We're going to go ahead and turn one of these into a tree using that action there, which is going to go ahead. Yeah, it won't be, wouldn't be worth doing more. So I'm going to go ahead and pay those eight in, take a little plant tile, and then I'm going to up this by one and that by one. Don't forget, we can up this by one when he crosses. So we're going to go at that, which means we're four away. Four away, it costs us 20 to build a tree. So let's go ahead and build our first tree. That's going to be 10, 5, and 5. That's going to be 20 over there. And we're going to generate another one. We're getting, we're getting, we're not going to win. We're not going to win. That's 10. I have 12. I have 12 money. I have three cards. I can sell them. May as well. One money a piece using my rules. So that's going to be three money. That's going to be 15. That's going to be 15. That's another 20. So we get to generate that again. 20. Oh dear Lord. Oh dear Lord. That's another 20 money. Okay. And then we raise this by one. We already got our free bonus one. We have no money left. We had the option to do any one of these a second time, but none of them would have necessarily helped. We could have paid less money to flip the ocean tile, which doesn't really help us that much. We could have drawn three cards, which gives us nine money. I think we lose the game. In theory, we could have done this for five and netted an extra nine money. Yeah, there's a few ways we could have netted an extra nine money. Oh no, this one. I would have done this a second time to raise my TR one more that way, so I'd have 14 money left over, which still wouldn't be enough to do anything. This is the game. This is Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition, the solo mode. Uh, I lost. It really came close. Had I had that standard project that gave me a discount of four, that was the card I absolutely needed to get things done here. I did not successfully Terraforming Mars, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so final thoughts, first impressions, all of that. So I played this game multiple times. This is the first time I'm playing it solo and the first time I'm playing it with my new rules. Uh, first of all, I will say I do enjoy the tenseness of having to decide. I, I It's still... I need to play this some more. I'm going to hold off. I will say that as a solo experience, this was an hour long play. Subtract the five minutes of the beginning for talking. So 55 minutes, which puts this slightly less than Terraforming Mars in terms of the gameplay. I would say that if I'm playing the game solo, I think I may have to do another play that's not that. We'll see. Based on this one play and based on using my revised rules, 
I think I would rather play this solo. Uh, the absence of the area control doesn't really matter much in a solo game. The absence of the, the card drafting doesn't matter in a solo game. And the tenseness of deciding which cards to keep, I mostly have that. I still prefer the cards in Terraforming Mars. I still think, and that's also keep in mind, um, I'm biased by having Prelude, by having the expansions, and using all of that. But I think as a solo experience, this is a better, arguably a better game uh, solo. Uh, competitive multiplayer, I still need to play it with my new revised rules. Better, better is not the right word. Better, given the trade-off of playtime, setup, and accessibility versus what you're losing is a much lower gap solo to the point that I think I would be more inclined to play this solo, especially as expansions come out. Uh, as far as playing this multiplayer, uh, I think I prefer Terraforming Mars. I mean, I, I don't think I'm pretty. I, I know I know I prefer Terraforming Mars, but I do need to try it with the new revised rules that I have about keeping cars to see how that impacts a multiplayer experience. In any case, this has been a blast. I always enjoy playing Terraforming Mars, including Ares Expedition. Uh, I'm, uh, it's, it's intriguing. It's a good solo game. We'll see how it goes. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. This will go up on the channel at some point. And as usual, and as always, have a good one.